guys, it's me, DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to Season 2, Episode 1 of Truth Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Man, there's something on my screen. <laughs> it has to be the fan club girl. Oh, Jesus. There is always one damn girl. Jesus, praise. But she, she a little too passive aggressive. She's like, oof. <laughs> oh, damn. This might be between this opening and my dad's secret ambition. Ooh, these might be like the top two best songs of the season. That might be until we hear Kaguya on Saturday. My <laughs> worst girl, we got. Ah, uh, I'm not ready for this. It's like hard card to a clear card all over again. <laughs> Not only that, but it feels like it's been a year since season one aired. Oh my god, he's uh, my baby! Uh. God, it's still one of the most emotional episodes of season one! Uh. True. Okay, but then why don't you just go ahead and do your homework now so you don't have to worry about it later. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no. Fine. <laughs> ah, my heart. 
Oh God, these damn bitches. Well, yeah. Y'all too much. Where the fuck is Anna? There she is! Oh, the best girl! Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking queen! Uh, okay, but are you okay? Oh. Seriously? Nice to meet you, Mana. Or are we talking about hot Sahara? <laughs>
Yeah, and why the hell not she was doing the shit that she was doing? Oh, sir, you are the two. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Seriously? Can I just add how the hell not everybody could go to sleep like that fucking quick? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what the hell is the deal with Machi? I mean, Matame, he, he, he weird, but he interested. But Machi, um, that big old elephant. No, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Him and her. I'm, no, I'm gonna wait till the end of the fucking episode to say what I want to say. You are so weird. You got some mysterious at the same time. Jesus Christ, girl, what the? Uh -uh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, what'd you say then?
That's a tour. Don't do something you might regret, though, please.
Give me that. This was a really good start to season two. Like, oh my god. But I have so many questions, especially with Manabe and Machi and their situation. Like, a little bit of me kind of thinks that they they do know Yuki. It's a little obvious. Like, they possibly met Yuki before, and Yuki doesn't really remember them. Because these two characters were the characters at the end of the last episode who were watching him. And I'm like, what up? Like, are they? And everybody's like, oh, you're going to find out in season two. And I'm like, I don't, don't want to know now, damn it. But I have so many questions about them. Why does Machi act the way that she does? And why is she a little hesitant? And then why is Manabe such an asshole? He seems like the type of character who he's really nice to your face. But once when he gets you alone... And he's not really around anybody else. Oh, that's when he shows his true motherfucking colors. I really don't know. But seeing everybody was so sweet. Seeing my horse girl at the end of the episode. Yes. I can't wait to see her. Even though I'm not into horses like that. I had friends who had that horse girl face. But she's so fucking pretty. Like, oh my god. My baby. And fucking Hatsaharu. I mean, because it felt weird not to have a whole freaking episode of Hatsaharu. And just seeing my husband at the end of the damn episode but the fact is like yes some of these characters are about to you know graduate in a few months and so i get the fact that the uk fan club they're gonna you know continue on without some of them and so i know they feel a certain type of way and the fact that you know their leader feels a little bit angry and stuff because it, you know how she she kind of reminds me and i cannot believe i'm going to say this she reminds me of freaking Helga from Hey Arnold. If any of you have seen Hey Arnold, if some of you have not, like, go go binge that or just, like, search up Hey Arnold and then Helga and, like, watch the moments because, I mean, uh, <laughs> that girl is, like, the definition of a fucking stalker. Like, you literally look that up. There's a picture of Helga Pataki on there. I mean, but it, it's just, this was a really good first episode. I love the fact that in the first few minutes, it did do a mini little recap after the opening. The opening, mwah, that is so good. I mean, honestly, like I said, between that and freaking my uh, dad's secret ambition, like that warm, happy feeling you get just listening to a song, I, they might be my number one and number two for songs until Saturday comes and we get to hear, you know, freaking Kaguya Sama and jam out to that because I'm really excited for that. Other really than that, I don't really have any more questions. I just think this season is gonna be really good and I think once Toru meets um I don't remember her name. I think her name is Rin. Um our horse girl, my bus girl, my model, who looks like freaking Zakado from freaking Tokyo Mew Mew in a way. Except, you know, she ain't got purple hair. I don't know how she's gonna feel. I mean each there there's the in the somas, to me, in my opinion, there is a certain person or persons who is like a big obstacle that's in Toru's Ray. In season one, it was a little bit of not only Kyo, but um, Akito. And Akito is going to be the still the biggest thing to, throughout this season and the final season. But it seems like, I don't know, like possibly my horse girl, my best girl, um, and maybe even a couple of others. I still have so many questions about Yuki and his backstory. Um... The situation about uh, Toru and Kyo, about the hat, because they've we all know that they freaking met each other when they were kids, and she just doesn't really, well, no, she slowly remembers, but she just doesn't know that it's Kyo, and so I have a lot of questions on that, and I hope that gets answered, because I feel like Toru's mom 
has something to do with it and I like honestly I really have no clue what it could be I still want some episodes on Hana and Uo because especially freaking Hana because Hana is my other best girl that is the queen of mother F and darkness right there so please <laughs> And still do something on Uo because I love Hana and Uo so freaking much and I want to see them, you know, mature in these next, like, 24, 26 episodes. I really don't know how long this season is going to be, too. I'm thinking it's going to be the exact same length of season one, if not maybe a little bit longer, but I really don't know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode one of season two of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode two. Bye, guys!